Hi dear students, now we will study some important formula of differentiation which are required for neat physics. dy by dx is the slope dy by dx is the slope of the slope of the graph of y versus x. The basic meaning of dy by dx is it is the slope of the graph of y versus x. For example, say I have written x y coordinate system. If I draw a straight line here and if I take a slope, see everywhere along this straight line slope is constant. Okay. So finding the slope, how to find the slope? Delta y divided by delta x, which is very simple. Okay. But the problem comes if uh, the slope is variable. See in this example, the slope is variable here. So when the slope is variable, so what we have to do is to calculate the slope at a particular point, we have to uh, consider very small value of delta y and very small value of delta x. So very small value of delta, if I take large value of delta y, I will not be able to uh, draw the tangent. Okay. So therefore, uh, if I consider very small values of delta y and delta x, that will give me dy by dx. So dy by dx means slope. For example, so differentiation of a constant, differentiation of a constant is equal to 0. So what does it mean? We will try to understand uh, with the help of an example. For example, differentiation of 3, differentiation of 3 is equal to 0. So what does it mean? Say this is y axis and this is uh, x axis here. So y is always 3 means slope is 0. Now second uh, formula, if uh, y is given by x power n then so differentiation of y or differentiation of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 n into x power n minus 1 we'll try to understand this uh, by using an uh, example say <coughs> differentiation of x to the power 5 differentiation of x to the power 5 that is equal to 5 into x power 5 minus 1 or that is equal to 5 into x power 4. Now let me look at one more example, example number 2. If y is equal to root x, then I can write it as uh, x to the power half. So dy by dx will be equal to d by dx of x power half. Okay. In the place of n, I have uh, half here. So therefore, I can write half into x power half minus 1. Okay. Next, uh, we'll do one more example. Say y is equal to x square. So differentiation of x square with respect to x is equal to 2 into x power 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 x power 1. So that is equal to x. You have to remember it. Differentiation of x square with respect to x is 2x. Next example number 4 if y is equal to x okay, the differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 because we have it is like x power 1 so 1 into x power 1 minus 1 x power 1 minus 1 is x power 0 x power 0 is equal to 1 then example number 5 y is equal to 7 x power 5 okay differentiation of 7 x power 5 with respect to x okay 7 is a constant you can write it outside yeah 7 into differentiation of x power 5 so that is equal to 7 into 5 into x power 5 minus 1 so it is 35 into x power 4 next say y is equal to 1 by x okay example 6 y is equal to 1 by x so 1 by x, I can write it as x power minus 1. So dy by dx is equal to differentiation of x power minus 1. So that is equal to minus 1 into x power minus 1 minus 1. 
So what happened? Minus x power minus 2. Then the next formula, C, say y is equal to e power x. Then what is differentiation of e power x? dy by dx. So differentiation of e power x with respect to x is equal to e power x itself. There is no change. You can't differentiate e power x. Then d, y is equal to log x. If uh, y is equal to log x to the base e, then what is dy by dx? So, dy by dx is equal to so differentiation of, so yeah, that will be 1 by x. dy by dx is equal to 1 by x. So, differentiation of log x with respect to x is 1 by x, remember. Next, if uh, y is equal to a power x, then what will be dy by dx? dy by dx is equal to a power x into log a, a power x into log a to the base e. Let me, uh, let us do an example, okay, say y is equal to, first example, y is equal to 2 power x, then what is dy by dx? dy by dx, dy by dx is equal to 2 power x into log 2, 2 power, 2 power x into log 2 to the base e. Now, uh, we will do one more example. So, we will take y is equal to e power x as an example. If y is equal to e power x, then differentiation of e power x, differentiation of e power x will be e power x into log e, e power x into log e to the base e, e power x into log e to the base e. We know that log e equal to 1 because log and exponential are inverse functions. Therefore, e power x into 1 is e power x itself. Now we'll see differentiation of trigonometric functions. Differentiation of sin x. Differentiation of sin x is equal to cos x. Differentiation of cos x. Differentiation of cos x is equal to minus sin x. Differentiation of cos x is equal to minus sin x. Now we'll see differentiation of tan x. Differentiation of tan x is equal to Second square x differentiation of tan x is equal to second square x. Next, differentiation of second x, differentiation of second x is equal to second x tan x is equal to second x tan x. Differentiation of cosecant x, differentiation of cosecant x cosecant x is equal to minus cosecant x cortex minus cosecant x cortex next differentiation of cortex differentiation of cortex is equal to minus is equal to minus cosecant square x minus now we'll see how to differentiate u power n when u is a function of x okay differentiation of u power n will be n into u power n minus 1 into differentiation of u. So, what is the condition? If u is a function of x, okay. If it is x power n, then it is just n into x power n minus 1. But if uh, in the place of x, there is a function of x, then we have to use n into u power n minus 1 into du by dx. Now, let us uh, uh, write an example. If y is equal to square root of x square plus 2, then what happens? Differentiation of x square plus, see, so square root of x square plus 2 can be written as x square plus 2 to the power half. Okay, so that is equal to. So, in the place of, I will treat it as x power n first. Okay, in the place of uh, n there is half, half into x square plus 2 to the power half minus 1 into differentiation of x square plus 2. What is differentiation of x square plus 2? Differentiation of x square is 2x, differentiation of 2 is 0. So, half into x square plus 2 to the power minus half into 2x. Further simplification can be done. Now, if there is a function like uh, y is equal to x sin x. Now, see there are two functions here. x is one function, sin x is another function. Now, this is in the form of uv. 
okay uh, we we call it as we can solve this uh, by using the uv rule or i can call it as product rule okay so if you have to differentiate okay u and v product uv then the formula is like u into differentiation of v plus v into differentiation of u okay if i can treat uh, u as function 1 and v as function 2 then i can write first function into differentiation of second function plus second function into differentiation of first function to remember i can remember like this now uh, how to solve what is the function we have we have y is equal to x sin x okay so differentiation of y is equal to x sin x differentiation of x into sin x dy by dx is equal to first function x into differentiation of sin x differentiation of sin x plus second function second function is sin x into differentiation of x because first function is x so that is equal to x into differentiation of sin x is cos x okay sorry differentiation of sin x is cos x x cos x plus different okay sin x into differentiation of x is 1 so what i have x cos x plus sin x x cos x plus sin x then let us suppose that i have a function y is equal to sin x by x sin x by x now this is in the form of u by v this is in the form of u by v or uh, i have to use quotient rule here i have to use quotient rule so how to find out dy by dx dy by dx so you have to remember this equation it is difficult to remember you have to practice a lot dy by dx is equal to denominator that is v okay denominator into differentiation of numerator v into du by dx minus numerator into differentiation of denominator u into dv by dx divided by denominator whole square okay denominator whole square so differentiation of sin x by x differentiation of sin x by x is equal to what is denominator denominator is x okay x into differentiation of sin x that is cos x minus sin x into differentiation of x is 1 okay divided by denominator square x square let us try to solve one more type of example differentiation of 7x square plus 7x plus 7 okay now what you can do now you can divide it okay so differentiation of 7x square okay plus differentiation of 7x plus differentiation of 7 okay now um, 7 is a constant right so i can take it outside so 7 into differentiation of x square differentiation of x square will be 2x okay 7 into 2x plus 7 is a constant outside okay differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so 7 into 1 plus differentiation of a constant is 0 so therefore our answer will be 14x plus 7 